Man, I mean, just being here at the James Beard House is kind of surreal. It's just an amazing opportunity for us. Great to be here. We have some really amazing chefs. It's going to be a fun night. Everyone brought a little bit of Utah. We have Utah spirits. People think Utah is a dry state. We actually make amazing beers and whiskey and ciders and distilled uh, spirits. So uh, kind of a fun place. So it's great to bring a little taste of Utah to the city. I never really imagined ever cooking here. So it's kind of a, a dream as a chef, I think, for anybody, especially myself. Oh my gosh, it's such a fun feeling to, to see that person enjoy and be excited about the, the food that they're eating and not kind of pick it to pieces. Pieces. You know, people are putting trust in us, and that's what I love about it. It kind of goes past just the chefs being here, but giving everybody a taste of what, what ingredients and stuff that we have in Utah. Food brings everyone together, so it's a fun job to have, and proud to be a part of it. I kind of, just like most bartenders, kind of talked my way into the gig. I was a food runner in a restaurant, and a bartender quit, and I was like, hey, I could bartend, even though I couldn't at the time. <laughs> We had a few meetings, everyone kind of contributed their dish. We lined up how they were gonna, you know, how they were gonna be, and it's been about a year now since we first started talking. We did a practice dinner a few weeks ago. So everyone is a seasoned chef and they're great. We have a great mix, some young chefs, independent restaurants, ski resorts, lodges. So kind of a mixed bag of chefs and properties here cooking tonight. So we have two cocktails this evening. We start with the, the old fashioned, the classic old fashioned, one of my favorites. And then the second one uh, that we're doing is called the Little Hollywood. Um, it is a play on a whiskey sour. So we use a house-made Earl Grey syrup, guava juice, fresh tarragon, a bit of lime juice, and then our double rye whiskey. So it's nice, light, refreshing, and it's an easy sipper. We have a couple of different things. We recently purchased a farm, so we've been growing a lot of our own vegetables and stuff. So we're doing um, fried tomatoes with uh, goat cheese, compressed watermelon with feta and country ham, and uh, a little smoked trout with uh, caviar and radish. I have first course today, soup and salad collaboration, because I couldn't decide if I wanted soup or salad. We're doing a snap pea soup with a micro green salad and arugula. We came to the table with a smoked parsnip dish. There's some uh, roasted beets on there. We're doing a little fermented plum jello we make in house. Micro flowers, micro garnish, and then um, just finished with a bit of uh, Malden sea salt. We're taking rabbit, so boned rabbit in a porchetta style with a little foie gras torchon inside, and some beautiful carrots and stewed rabbit leg with mushrooms. We picked up mushrooms at the green market here. And not everyone will try it. It's people are a little squeamish. They think of, of Bugs Bunny, you know, when you're a kid and you're watching the cartoons. We use a lot of rabbit. I always put rabbit on the Easter menu. That's the great thing about being the chef. You can be a little ironic if you want. Doing a 44 Farms short rib with pierogies, trumpet mushrooms, cream spinach, and huckleberries. The uh, dessert course is caramelized figs with uh, goat milk ricotta, honeycomb, and a little dolce de leche. I'm just really uh, excited to put some good food out and uh, be a part of like just this great opportunity and all these all other talented chefs. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. Just to work with all the other chefs, to have fun, and just hopefully we please a lot of people and bring them back to Utah.